ChatGPT just secretly launched a handful of new features that you probably haven't heard of. For example, you can now share projects with anybody that has ChatGPT, or you could even automate your work with ChatGPT now. And those are just two of the beginning things. There are several more that you haven't heard of yet. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what those changes are, how you can implement them, and a bunch of cool use cases for them. Okay, so the first change that we need to talk about is you can now share projects with other people on ChatGPT. For example, if we come over into my projects right here, we could see that I have a YouTube script project. In fact, this is the project that I use to write all of my scripts on YouTube because if we come over into this, we could see that this is actually trained on all the script outlines that I use for YouTube and I put some custom instructions in here for my specific type of content. I usually make content that's 10 to 12 minutes long, so I gave it a little bit of instruction here. Now, in the past, in order for somebody to recreate this, they would have had to put those same instructions, put the same file, but then also actually went through and interacted with ChatGPT the way that I have. As you can see, I've literally been using this project for like a year to create content here. So it would take a really long time for somebody to be able to replicate that. And you probably have projects that you also interact with in the same exact way, but guess what? Now you can share projects with anybody. You literally just come up over here into share. You can change this invite access to anybody with the link and then you could send them the link. Or if you have their email, Emails, you could just put their emails in here and give them direct access. Now I do want to warn you. So your project might include some personal information. For example, it might be in the knowledge base, might be in the instructions. Just remember that that is actually going to get transferred to that individual also, but they won't be able to get your personal memories, which is a nice privacy feature. Now that actually brings me into secret change number two. So now if we come over here into ChatGPT, we come into personalization and we scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see memory. Now you're probably thinking, Rob, didn't memory always look like this? Actually, no, it's completely different now. So now if you click on manage right here, you're gonna be able to actually search through your memories. You'll be able to sort them from newest to oldest. And then also you're gonna be able to come over here and actually have ChatGPT automatically manage your memory. So they'll automatically delete things, they'll automatically remove things, or if you wanted to, you can delete all your memory in one shot. On top of that, you can also view your history right here. So you can see all of the different history about whatever you've done to ChatGPT so that you can actually set it back. Because one piece of feedback that I've gotten, because I'm a huge proponent of going through and actually changing stuff like this. For example, if I come over here and type in Porsche, we can see that ChatGPT thinks that I own a 2022 Porsche 911 S. I don't anymore. I sold it and got a new car. So this would be something that I would want to delete. And we can actually see also when it was saved. So this will actually go through now. And we have way better way to be able to go through and change what ChatGPT remembers, what ChatGPT references, because this is going to make responses more relevant and more personalized on ChatGPT. And to add on to that, it actually makes the experience that you get on ChatGPT Atlas way better because ChatGPT Atlas is also going to take into consideration your memory from ChatGPT, especially if you have that turned on in the settings here. But we'll get into more of that in just a little bit. Now, before I get into the rest of those new secret ChatGPT features that you probably haven't heard of yet, I wanted to remind you that you need to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this almost every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Now, change number three, before we get into the final two, and quite frankly, the biggest updates to ChatGPT that are going to allow you to automate your work and do some pretty crazy stuff, I wanted to show you that if you come over here now, click on settings, come into apps and connectors, that they added a bunch of new connectors. For example, aha, this is brand new, click up, this is brand new, GitLab issues, that's brand new, help scout, brand new, and a few more that are brand new like Teamwork and Zoho Desk. So I would make sure that you go through here. If you use any of these other connectors, make sure that these are set up. In addition to that, make sure that all these different browse apps are set up and you'll be able to see what you have enabled right here because what that is going to do is give you a way better experience on ChatGPT because if you come over here into a new chat and type in at, you'll be able to access all of those different apps, or if you come over here and click on this, you can add in sources from all the other different connections that you just saw that could be made possible. Now, 
The next update that we need to talk about is if you come over here to sora.chatgpt.com, they just released a brand new storyboard. So now you can click on storyboard right here, and this is pretty incredible. You could describe what you want to happen in scene one, and now scene two, and then scene three, and then scene four, and then scene five, and then scene six, I think you get the point. You can actually go through now and create a bunch of different scenes here. You can control how long each of these are, and this is actually gonna allow you to create AI-generated long-form content directly from inside of Sora. If you've used Flow by Google, this is basically the same exact thing in here now, which is a massive upgrade when it comes to Sora. So, a few things that I wanna show you with this. First and foremost, if we come over here, we could see that we could click on this right now and we could change the model, so we could use Sora 2 Pro or Sora 2, we could change the orientation, and we could change the duration from 15 to 10 seconds. And if we wanted to upload anything for a reference, we would be able to do this right here. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click on storyboard, and let's actually show this off. So scene number one, I want this to be three seconds long. We are going to say an egg begins to hatch that is containing a chicken. Okay, now we have to add a few seconds here maybe so we can make this like 15 seconds if we wanted to. We could come over here, describe this scene, who, where, and what happens. I'm gonna say the chicken realizes that he needs to find somewhere to sleep because there is a thunderstorm coming. Okay, now from here, we could add in the next scene, and then in the next scene, we could describe what's going to happen. We're gonna say the chicken finds somewhere to stay. And then in the next scene, I'm gonna say the chicken realizes that where he is staying is infested with ants. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do we're gonna click on create, and now this is gonna go through, and this is gonna create this video based on all of these different scenes, which just allows us to get way more granular, create a way better video, and as you can see here, if we wanted to, we could still upload photos from here, if we wanted to add in a character or something like that, we could still describe the scenes that we wanted to see right here, we can still control the duration, the portrait, and what model's actually being used right here, and then from here, we can go over and actually see that this is being generated right here. Now, I'm gonna let this go through and get created and then we'll see what this actually looks like. Okay, so now this video is done. Feels safe. And this is pretty funny. So I'm gonna show this to you with the volume off and then I'll give you my immediate reaction off of here. Um, but check this out. Oh, those clouds look scary. I need somewhere to sleep before the storm gets here. This place feels safe enough. Huh? Ants. Too many ants. So that's pretty funny. It went through. What I probably would adjust is I would come over here um, and I would change the speed and the pacing of all of it. Like I think that this should actually be a lot quicker in the beginning so we could just come back over into the storyboard right here if we wanted to and we can mess with the length of each one of these. Um, that's the only thing that I would really change about that. Other than that, it's, it's pretty cool how it's actually able to do that. And again, it generates new scenes. It's this is pretty awesome. And I think that this is a huge, great addition to Sora because it's gonna allow you to create way more complex content. Now, the last change we need to discuss is now, if you come over to ChatGPT, you are going to see this down here, Try Atlas ChatGPT's new AI browser. And this right here is incredible. And that's coming from somebody that loved Comet. I love ChatGPT too. In fact, if you're on a budget, you don't wanna spend over $200 a month, I would strongly suggest that you get this because it's amazing. In fact, it's incredible. So a few things that you can do here that I want to call out really quickly. First and foremost, we're going to pull up a new tab here. But before we do that, we're going to come up here to the top right hand corner. So I want to make sure that you see these settings over here because you can manage bookmarks here. You could manage your downloads here. You could manage extensions here. 
You could manage your passwords, your payment methods, all of that stuff. And if you come into settings right here, you will be able to actually come through and personalize this. So you could import everything from Chrome. You could see your history here. You could come over here and actually give custom instructions to agent mode, which is going to allow you to automate anything that you can currently do in a browser. You could see all your data controls here. You could see your personalization here and what is actually being used. Again, memories are getting brought over into here, which is pretty cool. And there are three main things that I wanted to call out with this. So first and foremost, this allows you to bring ChatGPT everywhere. You could get this to transcribe videos. You could get this to recommend the next video that you should watch. And you just basically have this on whatever tab that you have open here. Or let's say that you were going to be doing something like responding to an email. So what you would be able to do with ChatGPT is you could come over here. You can highlight this. You're then going to see this button pop up right here. You can click on this and you could describe your change. So I'm going to say, make this email longer and way nicer. Now, what this is then going to do is this is going to rewrite the email that I had. It's going to professionalize it. And we can see that it does that right here. And then I could ask for another edit or I could click on update right here and it literally puts that email directly in there. So I want you to think about the power of this. This is going to drastically increase your productivity and we haven't even gotten to the coolest part yet. So the next thing that you do, if we just come over to a regular tab like this, is you can click on agent mode and you can ask this to do anything that you can do in a browser. And there are two versions that you could use here. You could use logged in, which lets ChatGPT work alongside you using all of your logged in accounts that are logged in on your browser, or you could do logged out mode, which let ChatGPT work alongside you with all of your accounts logged out if you were scared about privacy or something like that. And pretty much from here, you just describe whatever task you want ChatGPT to run off and do, and it'll go off and do it while you're in your other tabs doing anything else that you wanna do. And that right there is pretty unique and pretty crazy. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks through even more how you can automate things with ChatGPT. I'll see you over there.